Hey everyone! Well, I'm in the process of do doing an audition job for the little girl that you saw jumping into uh, the guy's arms last week. Or, well, last video, we'll just say last video. Um, so, that's fun. Apparently the, uh, the finances will be pretty automatic, which is, is always good because when doing filmmaking work, it feels like half of the job, well, three-fourths of the job is a, is a waiting game. And the ones that aren't a waiting game are not big profit. And I don't know how much profit this this uh, this video gig I will be doing is. Uh, the communication hasn't really made it very far yet. It's just, uh, hey, I'm available on these days, and then a uh, thumbs up. We yeah, that's that's my life. Thumbs up or a uh, bet. Bet. That's what my music artist friend likes to uh, reply back is bet. Which I don't really know what's going on with the music artist either, but I haven't really been very frequent in messaging him either. Um, last thing he asked was about my email. I sent him the email uh, today, so hopefully I'll get that new song he was wanting to film. Um, as far as my 9 to 5 job, all of management is basically left. There's just me and one other shift supervisor, and then the two uh, two managers. You know that's that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Um, it makes me a little anxious thinking about that, but um, I have not felt the the load that I I'm preparing for. Apparently, there is another shift supervisor that's coming in named Tab. Uh, so. You know, I don't know how long she'll last, but, you know, hopefully she'll last longer than the last girl that only worked four days and then, you know, I just left. You know, hopefully that happens. Um, I found out that I am being paid a little bit more than I thought I was being paid, so that's, that's a plus two. It makes it easier on the finances. Yep, that, that's life for me. Uh, there's video stuff going on, which is fun. And then there's other stuff, you know, because you, you just can't not have a normal, stressful life, even when you have a filmmaking stressful life. It's, it's all there. Alright. Let's go to whatever else I'm going to shoot after this, because I'm not sure. It might be the audition stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I can use this zero. We'll see. And then we'll just wing it. I don't really. I'll eat the other one later. So, the audition situation. Not really sure what's going on. I'm, I told them my uh, availability and they have not replied back. As of now, I really only have two more days off. Uh, and then uh, I work a couple days and then I guess if it makes it to when I have to go back to work, I'll just text them whatever. Next days I'm available. I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. I'm just waiting for a response in their end. Um, in the meantime, since I still want to try to go ahead and end this video, I'm gonna uh, do sort of a comparison again. Uh, might be an unfair comparison, but uh, this one, these two little things, those two little things uh, that producer let me borrow to, you know, get used to them, I guess, probably because I'm going to be filming the movie. Uh, this thing sounds cool. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really got a chance to look at them or anything. That's what we're going to do today. It's another comparison. Let's do some sound testing.
This Tascam thing that I'm recording the audio to right now, the Tascam DR70D, um, I've had for a couple years. I've planned on using it, but never got around to it. Sadly, apparently it's three hundred dollars. The reason I got it is because uh, the YouTube channel that I like to watch and reference a lot, Film Riot, ranked them into as like a top ten Christmas gift thing, and I, I haven't. This is the uh, only dedicated like audio recorder I ever had, and for me, I want to buy something that will last a long time, and I won't need to upgrade for a while. That's how I typically buy things. So this is what you're listening to right now: is the uh, audio straight out of the uh, omnidirectional mics, the two built-in ones. It also comes with four XLR. TRS combo jacks allowing a variety of setups. Uh, the four channel design enables combinations of shotgun mics, lavalier mics, and the built in stereo mic to be recorded individually. Channels 1 and 2 can be set to stereo input, and 3 and 4 can be uh, set to built in mics, making a variety of mic com uh, configurations possible. Which is another reason why I really uh, thought this was going to be useful is I, I'm never too sure what. Uh, type of mic that I might want to use but this allows me to plug up whatever I want and um, whatever's best for this scenario and just record it onto an SD card which hopefully the two gigabyte SD card I have in here right now will be will suffice for this uh, like demo or comparison the built-in generator can produce slate tones that can be used as references when aligning audio and video lineup the waveforms when you need perfect sync between audio and video in addition to being able to produce slight tones when recording starts or when it starts and stops. The slate button can be used to add slight tones at any desired point. So that means slates are good to audio, uh, sync up audio, so there's that. This uses four AA batteries. Listen to the audio, I mean everything is being recorded in the exact same room. This is um, it's still relatively new to me, but you should have just heard the road mic that I've been using for my vlog, so you can compare that to this, and then I'm now going to go into the H4N Handy Recorder uh, Zoom, and you can compare that to this. If it's a good comparison, I'm not too sure, but they're the two mics I'm comparing today, so yeah. Let's go on to over to that one. Both, both of these reviews are straight out of the box, um, which this one, mic has the advantage just because um, it was preset under professional settings most likely, but the other mic was just never used. I, I bought it and never used it. Um, but as I was saying uh, the last time I recorded this, which I don't think it recorded the audio, the uh, other audio thing also, the, the, the Cascam 70D also, you can uh, put the camera on top or below because it has a, a shoe mount on both ends. Um, before I leave the Tascam DR, uh, D70, DR70D, um, I just went ahead and threw it into Adobe Premiere and I, uh, I audio gained it by 30 because uh, I guess I recorded it in a, a quiet setting. But uh, when I audio gained it by 30, um, I mean, you guys can judge it for yourself. But it doesn't sound too terrible. I really assumed it was going to sound really bad because I was going to pick up so much uh, background noise. But for audio gaining it by 30, when it was so freaking quiet, like I had my TV on volume 40 to even hear it, that's, that's an that's pretty incredible. Now, as for features for this uh, H4N Handy Recorder, um, now since I can actually review it, since I'm seeing audio bouncing up and down, um, I saw uh, I saw it on online for about two hundred twenty dollars, so it's about eighty dollars cheaper. Um, it has two 
XLR inputs instead of four like my other one. It's slightly more portable, but not a whole lot more portable in my opinion. Uh, on the Tascam, you can at least put like straps on it and uh, carry it around your shoulder. This you'd have to put in your pocket or um, hold it in your hand. And yeah, uh, there is one shoe mount on the back side of this, so you could do that too. This actually has a stamina mode, which is interesting. Uh, when I put the batteries in, the two AA batteries instead of four, um, I noticed that and I went ahead and clicked it on, so, and now I'm looking at the back of the box, and apparently what it does is uh, allows the batteries to last twice as long. So normal mode would be like six hours, and stamina mode would be 11 hours. So that is very useful, so you don't have to worry about your, uh, your audio camera dying. That um, is a feature that a TAS cam doesn't have. I don't know how long the TAS cam would last, but still, uh, very cool. I will give that on the zoom. Other than that, everything's pretty basic. It does come with a lot of accessories, which my TAS cam didn't come with. Um, it came with an SD card, a windscreen, a mic clip adapter, a protective case. It did not come with a remote controller, but as you can see, we have it here right now. I'm sure it's not too expensive. Um, it, it is what you would expect. It just allows you to press record from afar um, and do other features from afar, which is very handy. Um, I, I've only had one wireless controller. It was for my uh, JBC camera, and that was very useful. It sucks that um, I loaned out my camera and they lost that. Uh, you're listening to the built-in X-Y stereo mics that record at either 90 degrees or 120 degrees. You tell me what you think of the uh, audio in comparison. I have a feeling that this won't have the, um, the audio advantage. If it does, it probably won't be as big. But um, take that into consideration when you're hearing the two side by side. Hopefully you enjoyed that little comparison view. Uh, added thing is, got to keep in mind that there is some tape from uh, usage on this. So another thing to keep in mind when you're making the comparisons on uh, how the audio sounds in comparison to each other. But um, yeah, that was a Tascam 70D DR70D, and then the Zoom H4N. So hopefully you like that. Um, don't forget to smash that bell icon. Press a like if you enjoyed this because um, it helps me grow as a channel. And press subscribe if you're uh, new to the scene over here. Um, before I let you guys go, I'll give you some more updates on what's going on with life. Um, because I haven't really done that much. This was actually two days from when I said I was going to do the comparison. <laughs> so that's the reason of the change outfit and looking different. Um, the audition situation uh, has not happened. I'm not for sure if they record the video yet. There hasn't been a whole lot of communication. Um, as of now, I have just uploaded the uh, a workshop day as YouTube editor, which I have not shared as much because I'm not sure how some people might feel. Um, I did share it to IFN, Indiana Filmmakers Network, and found out that uh, the producer that I've been working with, um, there's bad blood between him and um, IFN, which I did not realize. Um, it, yeah, I did not come to, I, I didn't notice that um, when I first started working with him and Chelsea Casanova and Started going to the meetings and everything. That was 
you know, he was in, like in charge of the IFN. It felt like, and, um, I guess, he's now his own separate thing. So that is a thing. Uh, now I guess I gotta be careful on what I share to IFN, and don't really know the history of to why there was bad blood with IFN and him. When I find that out, maybe I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting, uh, circumstance, situation, update, you know, situation. Don't know if the audition thing is happening. I wish I would have known more in detail sooner because I could have gone to Family Fit or whatnot. Um, but I was holding myself out to do the audition. I was assuming I was going to get a text message and be like, Hey, are you okay with doing it an hour from now or two? Because it, that's what happens with filmmaking stuff is they, they give you really short notice really quick, but I should have just gone ahead and gone to Family Fit and tried to help him with his YouTube channel. Um, I'm getting used to... I'm constantly trying to evolve around this whole uh, filmmaking situation. I feel like I'm always getting curveballs and trying to learn how to digest the curveballs with uh, filmmaking, uh, my 9-to-5 job, my medication life, or uh, med health life, you know. Um, sorry if that shows in videos of all the chaoticness, but maybe that just adds another layer of entertainment to you guys. Go ahead and leave in the comments down below uh, how you're enjoying all this hecticness. Uh, this might have been a very amateur comparison video, but, you know, I am, uh, it, was, it was also my first doing, like, a product shot. Um, I got this with the new house, and, uh, I, I kind of always thought, oh, that would be dope for a product shot! So, I used it for a product shot. Uh, recorded in slow motion, uh, 120 frames per second, uh, 10, 1080. Uh, everything else is short, shot in 4K, 24 frames per second. Um, yeah, this video is probably going to be a little bit long, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, please subscribe, smash that bell icon, and uh, again, it's very much appreciated that you guys have joined me in this journey. Peace out.